support of item number six, the resolution for the Dream Act. I'll be brief because it's hot and because I want to allow time for many of the immigrants that are here to speak. For many years, they've suffered in silence, and their stories are the primary impetus behind my activism. My name is Christopher Holt. I'm a Cambridge resident, a Cambridge Human Rights Commissioner, and also a Christian minister at a local Cambridge church here, Pentecostal Tabernacle, which our bishop is currently right here in attendance. Our church is an international church, and we are passionate about restoring broken lives. There are many lives in the city of Cambridge that have been broken by this country's broken immigration system. These are young immigrants who come to our congregation and they come to our ministers to ask for prayer to be allowed to stay in this country to continue their education. Many of these people have been in this country since they were three or four years old. For this, for them, this great nation has been everything they know. I became involved in the immigrant youth movement as a student at Harvard University. As many of you know, a Harvard student and Cambridge resident, Eric Baldaris, was facing the very real threat of deportation in June. This incident hit close to me and many others on campus and in Cambridge who were sympathetic to the plight of Eric and thousands who would benefit tremendously from the DREAM Act. The DREAM Act would give immigrant youth the opportunity for American citizenship by showing good moral character in academia and mil or military service. The DREAM Act does not guarantee citizenship, but it does provide an opportunity for student immigrants to go through a process to gain citizenship. As the law exists now, minors can only gain citizenship by inheriting it through their parents. I'm honored to speak in this chamber once again, Mayor and City Council. In April, I was invited to speak here before many of you as the keynote speaker at the Cambridge Human Rights Commission Fair Housing Conference. In that speech, I talked about my experiences growing up in poverty and homelessness. The key to my success has been education. Education clears the dark and stormy clouds of poverty, ignorance, and self-hate. It ushers a new horizon of prosperity and self-esteem. This is what I wish for my brothers and sisters who are being denied their educational pursuits. Ladies and gentlemen, civil rights are as relevant now as they were 40 years ago. Civil rights are an unfinished project. The city of Cambridge is an unfinished project. And passing the DREAM Act would get us that much closer to fulfilling the American dream. I am hoping that each of you shares this vision of a beloved community. And if you do, all I am asking of you, Mayor and City Council, is to stand up for fairness, to stand up for righteousness, to stand up for justice, to stand up for children, and please vote for the passage of this resolution. Thank you.